Hey everybody, Metal Gamer Geek here. Welcome to Let's Play Dungeons of Hinterburg. And we're gonna start our new game. Uh normal mode. Yeah. When I was five, my parents took me to a botanical garden an hour's drive from Vienna. Right in the middle of it, there was a uh, fenced off cave. 20 years later, I still remember it vividly. Because a witch dwelled there. My dad laughed and said my imagination was playing tricks on me. My witch was just a shadow. But no matter what he said, I would not be convinced. The cave was special. When I was a kid, every new place we went to was special. Everything had this kind, this wild sense of mystery and adventure. I miss that. So first time Slayer or you stay with us before? Lately, nothing in my life has felt particularly adventurous. Long days at the office bleeding into one another, short weekends spent on the couch doing nothing but recovering from work stress. If this is your first time, you must see our spa recently opened. That's gonna change here. There's no place in the world more special than Hinterberg. I don't know why my default, like, voice for dudes is that gravelly New York accent. Title! 25 magical dungeons right in the middle of the Alps. The media call it an elaborate hoax at first, then a mass hallucination? Wait, what? But here we are, and this is real. This is where I'll be staying for the next few weeks. Where right, I don't have to be a junior at a law firm for a little while. I should go check in. Let's go. The air inside the guest house smells of heavy wood. There's a hint of er scented air freshener. I'm instantly taken back to every skiing holiday I've had as a kid. Welcome to Hindenburg, Fraulein. Luisa Dorfer. Oh, of course, room 102. The phone doesn't get any reception here. Will it work in my room? Ah. Uh, you did get the Prashore, right? There's no cell reception around Hinterberg, no internet either, I'm afraid. A side effect of the magic. This is a world where just magic exists. I like it. Good, I won't be reading my work emails here. That's a good point, lady. Uh, we're still preparing your room, Fraulein Dorfer. Should be about another half hour. Actually, I can't wait to get out there and start slaying monsters. What's a good place to go? Well, very well. Let me phone Klaus. He's our resident trainer. He'll take you to your beginner's dungeon. Sure. That sounds great. Let me call tourist info. I'll have this sorted for you in a minute. Klaus will be waiting for you at tourist info. Let me mark his location on your map for you. That's Klaus. We're over there. Best way is through there, just take the path to the right, you'll be there in no time. Nice of class to make an appointment on such short notice. Have a lovely stay, Fraulein. Hold on. Map? Me, what does this arrow mean? Oh, it's like a speed bot? Hello? First day, huh? Kinda envy you. Wish I could see all this for the first time again. I want to head down to Taurus Info. It's right down there. Interberg Town Map. Okay. Yeah, so we're still going here. This way. The man's is... Yeah. Hello. Fräulein Luisa, right? How do you do? I'm Klaus. Klaus Hornbacher. About as famous as an alpi alpinist gets? 
I used to have a TV segment on underappreciated hiking trails. I remember you from TV. I know you, Klaus. Used to watch your TV show. Dot, dot, dot. All right, we're going to take it nice and slow today. <laughs> I'll be right behind you to get you alert and aware of your surroundings. No matter what they say in the brochure, this is a dangerous sport. Are we clear on that? Yes. Good, that's what I wanted to hear. Our first dungeon is on Empress CC Promenade. There's going to be a couple of monsters before we get to the portal. Ready to go in? Yeah! Blindly. Oh. We just go? Okay. Uh-oh. I go faster. I go faster than you, Klaus. Uh, listen, these kobolds will attack you as soon as you get close enough. I'll be here spotting you. Any questions? Uh, are they dangerous? A lot of them can be if you're inexperienced or careless. As long as you take them seriously, these particular monsters here shouldn't be too much of a threat. Are they sentient? Fascinating, aren't they? They always make me think of creatures from old fairy tales. The government ran all kinds of studies and experiments when they first appeared. They possess a crude intelligence, but no emotions and no memory whatsoever. They're not sentient, if that's what you're asking. Okay, let's go kill them, I guess. Good, let's see how you handle a sword. Uh, light is left click, heavy is right click. Heavy also knocks them down. Cool beans. Where'd you go, little guy? Nicely done. It's good to see you can handle yourself. Heck yeah. Move on, right? I want to change one setting, though. I think I messed something up earlier. Put this a little bit higher up. Double it. That's better. Although it does feel floaty. These blobs of goo, these refill your health. Hit them with your sword, you'll immediately feel the effects. Slimy goods. My HP and my MP is refilled. Word of advice. Word of advice. Most first timers just keep wailing on these creatures until they plop. By practicing your dodge while you fight them, it'll be useful down the road. A well-timed dodge keeps you out of the hospital. Space. Oh, buddy. Well, it seems like there's a four hit combo. Nice. Very good, Luisa. A lot of the new slayers forget how important these basics are once they learn their first magic spells. But your physical attacks and dodging monster attacks will always be essential. Keep practicing them. Okay. We get to do like fit so. That is what it looks like when there's a pickup. Monster 2. Hello, treasure chest. Treasure chest. That's convenient. What are you waiting for? Go on, open it. Okay. 500 hinter bucks. You don't use euros here? Not for potions, slaying ear and such mayor wagner has all has introduced her own currency to level the playing field for all adventurers ah so you can't just be a rich person coming in here to do whatever everybody starts at ground zero for the bottom floor don't worry the restaurants still happily take credit cards dungeons right around the corner okay that's neat that's a dungeon portal Got your dungeon stamp book, right? Your goal is to reach the exit and get your stamp. I can't stress this enough. Once you reach the exit, get your book stamped. The exit portal won't activate until you do. Uh, what's it like inside? I don't know what you expect me to say. We read the accounts in the magazines. Uh, in the end, it's something else. I think it's beautiful and strange. You just make up your own mind, okay? Are they safe? 
You'll feel a searing heat as they teleport you in and out of the dungeon. It's normal, you get used to it. Guessing about long-term side effects, there aren't any studies. I'm not turning back. Let's go. Once you're through, I'll go as well. Cool beans. We're all healed up. Enter. An otherworldly heat emanates from the portal. Am I ready to am I really ready to do this? Time will advance. Oh, I see. We're at day one noon. So going through here probably puts it to day one evening. I thought we were gonna stargate there for a second. The four social stats are things I couldn't read quick enough. This is something else, all right. I think that just yesterday I was sitting at my office desk waiting, wanting so much to be somewhere different, to be someone different. This is as different, this is as different as it could ever get. If I was coming, it's been a while now. Maybe I should go and have a look around on my own. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just leave your guide behind. That sounds like a splendid idea. We just auto mantle. Okay, there's there's no jump, that's why. Louisa here. You're right, the dungeon looks different from normal. The portal didn't spit me out in the usual place either. You be careful, okay? I'll try to meet with you further up ahead. So basically, our dun our beginner dungeon is not a beginner dungeon, is what you're trying to tell me, huh? Boink. Them's his enemies, but this... ...is stuff. Honeys? Uh, find a commemorative coin. What did I just pick up? How do I, how do I look at my inventory? Can I look at my inventory? Yes. This is all my gear. Other story items. A commemorative coin found in the dungeon. So that's a story item. Okay. Oh, middle mouse button is the target lock. Nice. Anything up here? No. Can I get on those? I don't think so. For here, still haven't found a way down to you. There's a couple of jumps ahead, but you'll be able to handle those no problem. Climb from ledge to ledge. Simply run over to a ledge to jump. Luis will hold onto any ledge within reach. Yeah. So it's like on rails, kind of. There we go. That's cool. What? Did you feel that? The ground shaking? Doesn't feel right. We should press on, but be careful, okay? Got a boss. Hey. Do back attacks count as more damage than front attacks? I'm assuming maybe? We healed up during the fight. That's weird. Always attack those weird looking, uh, those weird colored things. 
more hinter box. Sir? troubling maybe we don't bring down the thing with the giant goat statue on it goat man statue I think that's going to be the boss out of this way through it okay it wasn't it wasn't gonna summon anybody okay thank goodness hey over here I can't get to you from here you have to make it on your own Are you okay I don't like these earthquakes one bit I don't like them neither Klaus where are you, though? Oh. Trouble. A minor Krampus? Tentacle Archfiend of the Beginner Dungeon. Supposed to just keep attacking these things? No. Okay. I see what I have to do. Make my way up here. Swat you. And then do it again on the other side. Okay. Not so much a boss fight as it is a big puzzle. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's why I smash him on the head. Okay. And then do we do it again, or is he just... Oh, okay. Yeah. Louisa. Get moving right now. Not bad if this whole place is coming down. Go, go. Oh, okay. Something tells me this wasn't no beginner dungeon. boy. Stamp book. The dungeon won't let you leave without a stamp. Okay. Give me your stamp book now. Did we live? Oh, we did. We got... We completed it. Okay. So... Oh. These are all dungeons we have to do? Yeah. See warning signs around different areas of Hinterberg. Be careful, there could be a touch. Oh, a tough fight ahead. Do you want to see the game manually? Sure. Yes. Only manual saves? Oh, well, I said there was an autosave before when I did my configuration. Goodness, Fraulein, you gave us all quite a scare. What happened? Remember the dungeon collapsing? I was brought here after the earthquake. 
Brought the doctor as well. She gave you a good check, but said you'd be fine. I'll let you get settled in, Fraulein. Do call reception if there's anything you need. An explanation? Day one, evening. So yeah, it went from afternoon to evening. If there are going to be three phases... And in local news, a minor earthquake was registered in the village of Hinterberg this afternoon. Hinterberg is well known as a hotspot of magic ever since its 25 dungeons appeared just over three years ago. Mayor Karen Wagner gave the following statement earlier tonight. My experts have assessed the situation and everything is fine, really. The ground shook a little, sure. Unusual things happen in Hinterberg every day. We are restricting access to some of our dungeons while we assess the situation, but so far it appears there's no property damage and nobody got hurt. We were almost the somebody who probably maybe also got hurt. There's no way I'm going to sleep tonight. I close my eyes and I see the ground crumbling beneath me and I'm running for my life. I need a drink. I need a train ticket and I need to work at a law firm and be a normal person. So we're second guessing ourselves. Classic me. Evening air is nice and fresh. The wind carries the roaring songs of drunk adventurers. How can they go straight from mortal danger to partying is beyond me. Rough first day? Yeah, you could say that. Seen your stare on a dozen first timers, always the same thing. This was a mistake. I was looking forward to this. I don't know what I was thinking. How is any of this even legal? It brings in the big bucks, that's how. Mind if I said, we make a friend. Alex. Oh, you were in the dungeon right when the earthquake hit? Talk about a bad first day. Where were you? I was up in on Doberkogel. It was quite a shake. You're not the type who thinks they're invincible, and you don't look like someone who does this kind of thing for social media clout. What exactly did you think you were going to find here? I was stuck in a rut. Ever feel like you're doing, like you've been doing the smart thing all your life and it's been getting you nowhere? No, I can't say that's me. <laughs> I just kept hearing th about this place and thought, this is a big deal. They can turn it into a theme park all they like, but magic in our lifetime, that's huge. I like to be where the huge things happen. Look, tomorrow you're gonna learn your first spells. Do at least that before you go home. Something primal about engaging with magic. It centers you. No offense, but you look like you can use some centering. Give it another day or two. Believe me, you're missing out if you don't. Hmm. Morning is so morning, noon, night. Those are the day phases. I slept deeply tonight, deeper than in a long time. Usually my dreams are about me being me, me at university, me at the office, me listening to my flatmate Carol going on about her day. Tonight, I didn't dream at all. I was just not there. I feel so rested. booked this, I paid for it. Some part of me thought I needed it. I'm gonna listen to this part of me for a change, see what comes of it. Yeah, we stayed. Yeah, we didn't pack our bags. Look who hasn't packed her bags yet. I decided I'm not gonna pack. I'm not going back to being a lawyer for a little longer. Glad to hear it. There's a dungeon up on Doberkogel that's perfect for, for first time spellcasting. Let me mark it on your map. Take the cable car up to the mountain, then it's a short hike. A couple monsters, few puzzles, nothing you can't handle. Let me know how it goes, yeah? Starting out. We want to go to places we can't go yet. I guess we want to go to Doberkogel. Every dungeon you complete increases your HP a little, as well as your renown. Okay. Do the dungeons themselves get affected by the time of day that you enter them? 
Unlock new fast travel point, Mountain Station. So we are... Who's Marina? Mountain Station. Heck am I? Return to Hinterberg. Hold on a second. Alright, let's see. How do I... So I guess because I took this... Okay. Hinterberg is the town, but we don't want to go to the town. We want to go to pick up the trash. I already completed three of the seven dungeons on Doberkirkle. I'm hoping to find the fourth today. All right, so there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of places. That's the fast travel. We don't want to fast travel. But we want to go to here, right? Starting out. That way. Something tells me we can't go. I have to follow the road. Okay, we gotta follow the road. Itty land. Well met, Slayer. Welcome to Dobrakogel, where the tatzel, tatzel worm burrows. What is this place? This is our kids' area. Not never too early to start training if you want to be a pro. Uh, is that safe? There's monsters around here. And we get kobolds from time to time. Nothing my battle axe can't handle. The kids get so excited. Wait, is this your first day? Second day, technically. Did the beginner dungeon yesterday. Well, so you haven't done any spell casting yet? This is so exciting. You have to head down that trail. It's really just a short hike until the skill shrine. Skill shrine? What's that? It's where you get your powers for this area. Real life magic powers. Hey, if this is your first day up here, let me give you a couple of my health potions. I'll be working all day anyway. We got three small potions. Um. The real health potions on there restores two HP slots. X. Have fun, yeah? This is going to be so cool. What's in here? Just... Start slashing them? Okay. We have to go to the skill shrine, which is this way. I'm assuming it's that giant purple laser or that beam going into the sky. And is my way blocked by cows this way? Just leave them alone. I was gonna try to like, you know, make my way through them. I guess that's not cool, but there is money just laying around here. The kobolds run away once they're like, they get hit a couple times. Hello, friend, maybe? You look new, you're heading to the skill shrine? Have fun. Using magic for the first time was one of the best moments of my life. I don't know, man. This, is, this seems like it's a whole bunch of, uh... Building up. How do I... Don't... There's a man there. I want to go to there. And in my... So I guess maybe when I acquire my skill... Get to blow up rocks. It's gonna let me in here. But now I can't get out until I use my skill. My magic. Pursed Pitzel Nix. Glouch. Bless you. Oh, and you, my friend, bless you too. <laughs> Pitzel, Pert, Hobbog, whatever. 
This is the skill shrine, right? I was told I'd get some magic spells somewhere around here. It most certainly is. So what are you doing here? Prodding the shrine. Prodding? What are we doing science when we don't quite have the faintest idea what's going on? Monsters here all take the shape of alpine mythological creatures. So I'm shouting their names at the top of my lungs to see if that does anything at all. Oh. What are these things anyway? Skill shrines. They're points of convergence. Nexuses where the conduits of magical energy run together and give people spells and whatnot. They're different in every area around Hinterberg, and they only work in the area where you receive them. This shrine, for instance, it will give you magic spells that you can use only on Doberkobel. Oh. You want to position yourself two to three meters from the shrine. Gaze at it deeply as you would into an abyss. You focus, then it just happens. That's it. It's just... Uh-oh. Magic skill. Wrecking ball. Hold the skill button to aim. Shift is the skill. Uh, then release the wrecking ball. guys wrecking ball. Press the skill button again to detonate it. Ranged skill is control. Hold the skill button to aim, or at least to send out a metal ball attached to a chain. So I really am just... Okay, it just happens. Now I suggest you explore your new magic skills. Prod them if you will. Might be useful in ways you would never expect. You have this all figured out. You want to come with and join me in the dungeon? Heavens no, my studies aren't nearly advanced enough to attempt a dungeon. So... Okay. So I just call it down and it does its thing. Oh. Doesn't work that way here. Cool. Wonder if this works on those cows. Alps, Albsenic, Albensic. Oh, I fed a cow. Nice. What if I were to? Uh... Nope, can't can't hit a cow. I hold shift to run, but that's not that's not the button. Hey friends. It only explodes okay. When I'm when I'm certain distance from what it looks like. So these are all fast travel points. That's good to know. Stop hitting shift. <laughs> After like a couple of steps, you start to auto run. Hey, those are hidden. Monster tooth and trash. Those magic skills sure are something. Have you tried using the ball and chain spells on those green slimy things yet? Green slimy things? It turns out you could pull them. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I see. Oh, we're going to do this. Dodge. I 
every hit restores my magic. Interesting. Nope. Yes. I have to break that habit of holding shift to run now. I'll end up wasting all of my magic. He abandoned the mineshaft dungeon. Can I help you? Yesterday's earthquake really wrecked this place. See this pile of rocks up on the ladder? That wasn't here before. Oh. I was so looking forward to this dungeon. It's gotta be a way to clear those rocks. I think I seize it. Drop that there. That right there. And then boom. Yeah, I'm smart. Can I break this thing? Nope, they cannot they cannot be broken by explosives. Those are durable boxes. Devo heart one thousand gear. Um attack is eight four I wanna wear that. Yeah. It has slots. I don't know what that's for. An otherworldly heat emanates in the portal. Am I ready to do this? Yes. Monsters that are in each dungeon. How tough they are, okay. Alright, let's give this a try. Time to make it night times. Cinema shows a different movie every night. Each movie gives you a nice boost for a particular stat. Okay, that's Good information. The games load too quick. The info on each screen goes by way too fast. We go down into the mine shaft. That's not freaky at all. Surprise! Hit me? How dare you? It's against the rules. Um. So we got it. All three have to be touched. What? What is? What does that do? silly uh is there a queue for this dungeon you standing in line actually i'm working thank you i'm writing a piece on slaying fad for crooked magazine you've probably heard of it so you're just stand here all afternoon i'm contractually obligated to enter three dungeons my contract doesn't say anything about actually finishing them Hey, if you're going deeper, I could uh, really use a first-hand account. You want me to work? Do your work for you? 
How about you'll get a quote in the centerpiece of next month's Crooked Sound Wild? I hang out at the Krampus Bar most nights. You know, for research, not because I like the place. Stop by if you have time. So at nighttime, go to the bar. Which is going to be when we finish this dungeon. Oh, wait, what's over there? Did I miss something? I can't get over there. Up, down. Okay. Um. I forgot about that. Shift doesn't mean run. That's the exit, isn't it? Can't get in there. So the, so the chain doesn't act as... Like, it doesn't consume magic. Use here. Just the... Oh, God. This is like when you're walking around in Pokemon and suddenly, like, a wild something appears. The fights just are sudden. I like it, but I'm also startled. This is what consumes magic. Maybe not. Maybe when I'm in a fight, it does, but not when you're traversing the world. And that was just a way to get some potion? Yeah, but there was also... Well, that was it. Alright, so we did that. Now we just keep going straight. Or here. Magic shield. Some en enemies are protected by regenerating magic shields indicated by additional green bar above their heads. Use magic skills to deplete those shields faster. If you ever need of more of each of more of MP sword attacks regenerate MP faster if they're heavy attacks. Okay. Come here, goat man. Okay, this hurts. Uh, no, thank you. I want to live. Monster tooth? All I got for that was a monster tooth, and I'm very nearly dead. Stop it. Uh, oh yeah. X. Eel. I forgot about that. Get in. Oh my goodness, that's quick. So I have to open the drop this, open that. Nope. Okay. Get on in for more fast traveling. Holy heckers.
Are we just spinning around forever until I hit something? Oh, I have to, like, tap left and right. Okay. This is kind of cool. Let's go. Oh, now. I have the reflexes of a mongoose. So we have to bring this down. Okay. Bonk. Right. left cool I have to get out of here oh what okay how am I supposed to do this? Oh, okay, I get it. Hang out here, pop this, go from this side. that pop you we have escaped oh what Madam, please. It'd be cool if you stopped with these fire tornadoes. Made it out without getting hurt. There we go. Let's take care of this cobalt. Get all my magic filled up, and there we go. Amp station completed the abandoned mine shaft. Nice giant cavern, jelly tunnels. 
That one dude outside said there was four dungeons to the to this area, right? Look at all that monies we have now. We have almost four grand in hinter books. Social stats? What do you mean social stats? Is there like a whole friendship leveling thing associated with this? So, how was it? Uh, much better. I actually think I could handle this. And the spell casting? The skin is tingling. I hope the feeling won't go away anytime soon. I never felt so focused, like every piece of me did exactly what it was supposed to be doing. I know, it's something else, huh? Yeah, it is. You gonna explore the village tonight? Can't we just hang out again? I'm a very antisocial person. Alright, love, got a date tonight. Rain check. I know Hinterberg, you've met a few people by now. Go have a look around, see if you run into any of them. Alright, we'll go explore the town there. Not just that a place like Hinterberg attracts a lot of people you wouldn't. It's it's not just that a place like Hinterberg attracts a lot of people you won't normally meet. That was weird to my brain. A lot of them will also help you out in many ways if you spend time with them. I've seen the big journal sticking out of your backpack. Give me that for a second. There, I added some notes on different folks around here and how they might be helpful to you. Yep, there's a whole friendship thing. Oh. Level one perk, magic increase. Level one perk, so, ooh. I wanna be your friend, Gertrude. Rare attack conduit, attack conduit, dodge, stamina increase. Oh, wow. Better prices when selling items, emergency pager, dodge, stamina. Oh, wow, there, there's a lot of people here, man. Oh, unlock photo, but we're about to do that. Cool beans. Don't get me wrong, you really should hang out with whoever you find interesting. There's so many interesting people here, more, way more than you can fit into one vacation. The notes are just there in case you're ever undecided or stuck. Do with them what you will. Your relationship with Alex has improved. You are now acquainted. You can now look up relationship perks that you get from hanging out with people. One more thing, the shops around here don't stay open all night. You should make sure you go get your shopping done before you go out and party. Oh, there's a pharmacy down your main square. Getting our free potions today. Let me mark it on your map. So... Where's the potion shop? There's Albert. Market souvenir shop. Flowers and gifts. Vending machine. Cinema. Spa here, and I don't know where this farm. Well, oh, I see everybody on the map. I don't run catch up. Okay, uh, I didn't see anything there. Oh, so there's four phases morning, noon, evening, night. Uh, where was this for? Oh, literally the giant circle. You're so blind, my. I walk forward to the main square. Here's the apothic. Promotional. I will take one of one, please. Thank you. That's a lot of bucks. I'm going to hold on to them, please. Find someone to spend the evening with? Wait, what? Where was journalism, dude? If I make an about face. Journalism dude is... Again, about face, but don't go down there. Go into this part here. By the bar. He likes to hang out at the bar at nighttime, he said, right? Hey. 
Good, you came. Sure did. Ready for our interview? Let's get inside this dump and grab a drink. Shops are gonna close soon. Do I have everything I need for tomorrow? I was probably, probably increased my amusement. Uh, what do we get from you? Photo mode. Uh, maybe later. I gotta go check out those things now. I don't even know. Maybe we go down to the sword place. Give me a second. We'll go here real quick. Fast travel. Oh, I just did. Okay. You get that sword. Uh, I'm at the wrong spot. In the left. Yeah, to the tourist spot. And then we go to the... Fast travel unlocked. The Swordsman. I'm looking to buy things. Swords. That would be great, but that's all my monies. What if I sell? What if I sell? I would get 220 bucks for it. Well, what if I buy armor? Wow, I don't have... So I can get the super fancy one, or I can just get, like, the small stuff. So it's body armor, pads, legs, so... Chest armor, elbow armor, and pants. And I can get all three armors. And then, what was the other cheap one? Inkware. Was there no cheap other one? Hold on. Go back. Inventory. Gear. Body armor. Pads. So Luis's pads. I don't have any. I have tankware leggings. Tankware pads. Luis, I need I need body armor. The top part. Tankware, I guess, right? Oh, so I'm I'm just basically doing oh, I should have read the fine print. You eventually want to get the all arounder. Confirm. Now I don't have enough money for that sword. Uh, playful fighting style focused on crit? No. High damage, high knockback. Yeah, that would be the one. Balanced, as all things should be. That would be the best one. Alright, so now we have our armor. Let me sell you some stuff. I can't sell the base. Okay. I understand. Maybe there's different needs or different reasons for all of those armors. I'm assuming. Assuming. Fast travel, fast travel. I don't have a fast travel for there. Yeah. Before we go have a drink, Mr. Magazine Man. I'm going to go here and see if I could find a... Map? Map. 
Okay, so now all areas of here have been unlocked, right? Cool. All right, let's go to the bar and talk about my adventures and then unlock photo mode. Yep, let's go, let's go get a drink. Time will advance. Give Travis a gift. Also, it does have that stuff. I don't think it's going to go to like that relationship status stuff, but whoa. Roblades, a smelly fog machine, blaring Euro dance for one breath. I'm 17 again. This is where you hang out? Just so we're clear, if this backwater hole had options, I wouldn't be caught dead in here. You just missed the German group doing shots out of their crossbow quivers. I don't like it. Look, I'm kind of a professional when it comes to bars, and this place runs right past ironically cool and does the full lap back to just awful. So, you don't mind if I record this, do you? What's your take on the slaying scene? Do fo these folks have any idea what sort of danger they're putting themselves in every day? You only live once. This place is dangerous as hell, and they still manage to let loose and have a good time. I actually envy them a little bit. I notice you're wielding a sword. Any particular reason why that's your weapon of choice? Uh... Something primal and honest about it. Kind of vanilla thing, huh? I don't like this man. What do you wield? Semi-automatic pistol? Of course. Next question. What's your take on the locals here? You think their lives are affected by having so many tourists around? Uh, they seem to be quite a burden if you... It seems to be quite a burden if you live here. It must be cool to constantly interact with people from all over the world. I'm going to play this with a bright and sunny disposition. I guess, if you're a people person. I think that's enough material for one night. Listen, you've got me one step closer to leaving this place. I can't thank you enough. Looking forward to Hipper Shores. Looking forward to covering some Berlin silent disco where people dance to auto-tune the air horns. Man, I miss that place so much. Next time you're in a dungeon, you think you could snap some pictures for me? The phone isn't working. Something to do with magic interference. Believe me, I noticed. Here, I got a couple of spare cameras. Worth a thousand words. Quest acquired. We are now acquainted. We've unlocked photo mode. So I wonder if I go back to that little dossier of all the townsfolk. If it tells me what the tier two perks are now. Day two night. Day two night. Renown. Familiarity, amusement, relax. So there are four key ingredients to a good vacation in Hinterburg. Relaxation, amusement, and your familiarity with the village and your renown as a slayer. These social stats go up depending on how you spend your evenings. Your renown also increases whenever you complete a dungeon. We'll find that some people... You will find that some people won't want to hang out with you unless you're strong in a particular stat. Likewise, some of the weapons and armor you find will require you to reach a certain level in one stat or another use them effectively. Okay. Welcome back by the smell of heavy wood and unfamiliar brands of detergent. I'm starting to feel like a home. Leveled up. Amusement and renown have bulked up. New skills. or HP. Things I've acquired. Monster parts. I wonder what I could do with those. Monsters slain. I really took it to the kobolds. Can't wait to get into bed. Today was exhausting. What's this? Teresa left the book in my room. The Slayer's Guide to Hinterberg. I wouldn't mind staying up a little longer and doing some reading. I just arrived here. We really don't want to be tired tomorrow. Old TV with basic cable. Wouldn't mind staying up a little longer and watching some trashy. Oh, so does that affect your start and everything to the next day? I don't know. Weird. Day three. Morning. Nothing like a nice slow vacation breakfast, even if it's as simple as a buttered bread roll. Hello there, Klaus. 
Uh, you mind if I sit with you for a minute? Sure. I want to check in on you. You've been racking my brain. I've been racking my brain over what happened the other day. Plus, seems really distressed. Weird to have that moment with someone I used to watch on TV. Takes him a while to speak, and then he doesn't know how quite what to say. You know, three years ago when this whole thing started, I thought we were at the center of something big. Not as in money or visitors or anything like that. I remember when I first spotted what we'd call a monster. A whole new world opened up for us to explore. And just a short while later, we're funneling dozens of adventurers into these strange new places every day. Dangers be damned. I wasn't keen on this job. When the mayor offered it, I thought, better me than someone else. It's okay. I signed up for this. It wasn't your fault. I've been slipping. What happened to you was on my watch. On me. You got me out of there. I wouldn't have made it out of there without you. Glad you're alright, Louisa. I really am. The earthquake left a mess, quite a mess behind. More than they'll admit to the public. Except for Doberkogel, the dungeons are currently blocked off. But repairs are underway. And they won't let their golden goose limp for long. Thanks for hearing me out. And I have something for you, if you're staying. An old emergency pager, built to get a signal through an avalanche, even gets the, through the magical interference around here. If you ever want to get out of a dungeon midway, use this. I'll have someone get back, to, uh, get you back to the village immediately. We are now acquainted. Come visit me down at Tourist Info sometime. It'd be nice to see how you're doing. What do I want to do today? The only place I can go is the Dolbrokogel. So basically, it looks like the morning you wake up, you have a conversation with somebody, and you can't do anything except pick a place to go. Dolbrokogel ain't half bad. So we did the one dungeon, which was the mining dungeon. Oh, Marina. Well, yeah, I've been to that dungeon too. Well, to the entrance part. Where there's three doors, and you have to cast the Wrecking Ball. I had to give up after that. I forgot the time and my shift was starting. Good thing I have one of these pagers that can get you out of the dungeon. Getting back up that ladder would have been a pickle. There's a miner's window. Miner's widow guarding the exit, right? Did you encounter her? Is that the floating monster? That cast whirlwinds and summons rocks? Yeah, I met that. Tough, huh? But you had tons of charms equipped to beat her. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you don't know about charms? Uh-oh. Magic trinkets, you carry them close to your heart, like in your backpack or in a fanny pack. Charms give you different powers. I got one that creates a little explosion whenever I slay an enemy. To buffs. Well, my favorites are these two. Here, take them. I've got spares. Ooh, perfect dodge, slowdown, and physical attack boost. Uh, in this window, you can manage your equip charms. Okay. So I'll put you at the perfect dodge. Done. Let the physical attack boost. Oh. I see. So each of those charms takes up X amount of slots. You could only have, so you can't just have like, Okay, that's kind of neat. Some people make a whole science out of charms. Me, I just try to try whatever feels like fun. Whatever gives me my axe blows that extra oomph. So you got a plan for which dungeon you're going to tackle today? I'll just explore. No plans. I'll just take a hike and see what I can find. Sounds like so much fun. If you do explore the mountains, just remember, if an encounter is too tough, you can always go somewhere else and come back later. I've put up signs to mark dangerous places, but I'd say just go with your instinct. I'll be at Kitty Land by the station. Stop by any time if you want some pointers. But she was just on the tram with us to Dobrakogel. And now we're here. Out here it feels like Vienna is a million miles away. I should go explore, find a dungeon, or just find myself a scenic spot to tune out and let the afternoon go by. I always ask Marina if I don't know where to go next. What? We'll ask her. Uh, some. Oh, is it auto saving? There we go. Save game. Uh, yeah, we're gonna ask her on the next episode of uh, Let's Play Dungeons of Hinterberg. Uh, if you like the video, 
drop a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to the channel already, click that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, you get alerted when I post more content here on YouTube. Uh, leave comments, share the video, share the channel. It's the best way to support what I'm doing, and I really do appreciate it. But until next time, take care, have a good one, and I'll see you soon.